Guyana joins other countries in congratulating Her Excellency Epsi Campbell Barr, Chair of the High Level Commission on Mental Health and former Vice President of Costa Rica, and Ambassador Nesta Mendez, Assistant Secretary General of the Organization of American States, along with other members of the High Level Commission on Mental Health. The Commission has spent the past year analyzing effects of COVID-19 pandemic, including innovative good practice solutions. They have identified priority areas in mental health for the Americas and develop appropriate recommendations to guide policymakers in countries throughout the region. Our nation is grateful for the Commission's effort since its establishment in May 2022. We are pleased to have participated in the interview process that led to developing the 10 recommendations that served as the foundation for the Commission's final report. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a negative impact on mental health of many people in Guyana, as it has in other countries. Even before the pandemic, Guyana had inadequate mental health structures, obstacles to assessing quality mental health services, and insufficient funding contributing to poor overall health in the country. To tackle this issue, the Guyanese government has prioritized mental health and is working to address growing mental health challenges faced by the population. It is clear that there have been significant actions taken to prioritize mental health in the National Health Sector Plan. These actions include giving mental health a higher priority, adding it to the essential health care packages, allocating more funding to mental health services, strengthening the governance structure, reviewing and updating the mental health laws in line with human rights, and developing a process for community-based mental health services for people of all ages. The COVID-19 pandemic has generated many discussions around mental health. These have shed light on the seriousness of the crisis and the inadequacies of our mental health services. In response, this commission has provided a studied approach to tackle this problem with a strong commitment to taking prompt action. The government of Guyana thanks the High Level Commission for creating a new agenda for mental health in the Americas. This package of policies and actions focuses on universal health coverage, human rights, equity, and non-discrimination. It also empowers individuals with mental health conditions and their families and promotes the advantages of multi-sectorial collaboration with different sectors and actors can share financial resources, knowledge, and skills. Guyana supports all 10 recommendations outlined in the report. It is committed to collaborating with other nations in the Americas to address mental health challenges and enhance the overall mental health well-being of the peoples of the region. Guyana remains dedicated to supporting the Commission's efforts as countries work towards reducing non-communicable diseases, mortality rates by one-third, and by promoting mental wellness in the Americas and globally. I am grateful to Dr. Barbosa and the team at the PAHO WHO for inviting Guyana to participate in this event. Additionally, I would like to congratulate the Commission on the successful presentation of this report.